The change to the executive order that the governor announced today is hitting personal care businesses especially hard. Customers want to get their hair, nails, and skin taken care of, and the businesses want to do it. But as 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us, it's not happening, and some say financial assistance isn't coming through. Governor Ralph Northam announced Wednesday many businesses, including salons, barbershops, and spas, are now closed even longer. Arguably, hair salons impacting people the most. Kristen Roca owns Bliss Studio in Roanoke County, and it's a tough blow. There's really no easy um, way. You know, there's pros and cons either way. I, you know, I hope it's the right time. I know we're all eager to get back to work, that's for sure. Headquarters Barber Company in Roanoke is feeling it too. Like many others, it's owner Melanie Cassell's only income, and neither customer money nor government money is coming in. Applying for unemployment and applying for all the grants and loans and things that were specifically for uh, small business owners, I haven't received a dime. So it's just been a waiting game. It's a wonderful business. Been in it for 27 years. Lisa Hensley owns an in-home nail salon. The governor's order allows her and hairstylists to go to the customer's homes, but not work out of their own. I just feel like it would be safer to work out of my home than to go to 40 homes in a week and you don't know what you're walking into. You don't know who is sick or who isn't. But Penny Kerr, who owns Corporate Image Barbershop in downtown Roanoke, doesn't want any contact at all. All the hairstylists agreed people will just have to wait because you can't keep six feet doing their job and they can't even get PPE. I think we're going to be slam though. I do because, you know, people are constantly texting me and asking, you know, am I going to do a haircut and I still I stand firm on not doing it right now. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. The state has issued strict guidelines for personal care businesses to follow the rules. Violators could be fined or risk losing their license completely.